breakthrough study related to CTE. And researchers at Boston University say it's a step toward diagnosing the disease while people are still alive. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Paula Eben. And I'm Chris Tanaki. A CTE often found in athletes, and it causes nerve cells in the brain to die with some very serious effects. WBC's Mike Sullivan shows us what scientists have now discovered that could be a game changer. When it comes to football, the crunch sells. The big time hits, the car crash collisions. Ron Egloff knows it all too well. I know I got hit in the head, the loud bang of the helmet, and my eyes actually crossed. For eight years, he was a tight end in the NFL, catching passes in the late 70s, early 80s. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I had a lot of concussions. He is one of several players who made the trek to Boston University for their studies on CTE. MRI, uh, a couple of PET scans, uh, spinal tap. The researchers here test the brains of living and deceased athletes. The work may soon allow clinicians to diagnose CTE before someone has passed away. Jesse Mez is the senior author of this latest study. We quantified the amount of the protein that accumulates in CTE in a lot of different parts of the brain. And we also interviewed family members of the deceased brain donors. The attempt to see if more of this protein buildup led to more severe symptoms or changes. And we asked them questions about their loved ones, cognition, their mood, their behavior, their impulsiveness. And then we looked at the relationships between the CTE pathology and uh, these clinical outcomes. Mez says their research showed a clear connection between the two, building potential criteria for doctors to look for. So how far are we away from a, a clinician from being able to diagnose CTE right then and there? So with all neurodegenerative diseases, we're never 100% sure until the person passes away. Mez says the best research will come from athletes they study alive who then donate their brain after they pass away. People like Egloff. You know, if they want my brain, they can have it. I'm gone. In Boston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Uh